Hi, I'm Jamie Dunkley, and I'm a technical leader at the Electric Power Research Institute. And I'm here to talk about a pilot project we did with EV Energy. Um, from my perspective, I work a lot on understanding where, when, and how much people charge. There is a lot of activity in the electric vehicle space. Um, adoption is increasing over time, and we're going to have about 130 new EV models out by 2023. So understanding how and, or how much people charge and when they charge is really important to be able to support them from a grid perspective. Um, currently in the market, there are ways to try to track and gather data on EV drivers, um, but they are expensive and they often need a physical device that you have to put in the car, which can be hard to do. We were interested in working with EV Energy because they've come up with a solution that um, is remote. So they, they gather data from the vehicle remotely um, and it, which makes it more scalable and more cost effective. So this was a perfect opportunity to test that technology on a small number of drivers with Ameren and, and see how it works. So I'll pass it on to Joe to talk about how the experiment went. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, and I'm Joseph Alone. I head up North America at EV Energy. And uh, as Jamie said, we wanted to test our, our wireless solution to manage EV charging uh, with uh, some Ameren customers. Uh, and so what we did uh, was we deployed our software uh, to 40 Tesla drivers across Missouri and Illinois. And what we did was we took advantage of the vehicle's telematic connection uh, to connect to our platform, which gave us both uh, number one uh, tracking data on uh, the battery level, as well as the charging that was delivered to the vehicle, but also importantly, um, the ability to stop and start charging in line with optimized EV uh, charging schedules. Uh, and so we we actually divided about 40 Teslas into four different treatment groups. Uh, because Ameren was interested in um, testing four different kinds of you know, variables uh, to manage EV charging. Uh, the first one had their um, charging optimized around Ameren's Missouri, Ameren Missouri's time of day uh, rate. Uh, so what we look to do here uh, was uh, instead of the vehicle charging as soon as the, uh, the driver plugged in, whenever that was, uh, we would try to sort of shift the charging uh, to the off-peak window in Ameren's time of day rate to save the driver money. Uh, we had a second group who uh, had their charging optimized to Ameren's hourly pricing. So in Illinois, Ameren has got uh, power smart pricing. Uh, it's a dynamic hourly rate that tracks uh, the day ahead uh, price curve. Uh, and we, um, again, uh, tried to optimize uh, EV drivers uh, charging to really charge during the lowest priced uh, hours uh, while still getting their vehicle ready by the time that they needed it as they entered it in the EV Energy app. Uh, a third group had their charging optimized uh, to carbon emissions. So we actually got a generation forecast and real-time generation data uh, across the MISO region. Uh, and we use that uh, to calculate the relative carbon intensity uh, per kilowatt hour of a unit of electricity. What we tried to do for this treatment group was to align uh, as much EV charging as possible uh, with a low carbon or renewable generation. Uh, now in MISO, um, there's not a whole lot of renewable generation that's come online yet. However, um, that is set to change. Uh, Ameren's recently announced a very ambitious net zero pilot and a whole lot of renewable energy that's going to be coming online. So what Ameren wanted to test was how we can actually use e the EV flexibility to um, soak up a lot of that renewable generation uh, when it does come online. And the last treatment group had their uh, charging optimized to uh, some network signals uh, that we got from Ameren's distributed technologies team. The idea here was to see how we could either shift or curtail EV loads uh, in line with um, dynamic uh, network signals that we'd be getting to avoid network stress and thermal constraint events. Uh, and uh, now I'm going to hand it over uh, to, to Ameren to discuss uh, a bit more about how the pilot went. Hi, my name is Danielle Wilson, and I'm an innovation manager with Ameren. And we as a company are focused a lot on electrification as a whole, and specifically EV adoption. 
However, we know that with an uptick in an EV adoption, it can come with a lot of intended consequences and pose several challenges like um, grid reliability and a reliance on high carbon sources of energy. So that's why we decided to partner with EV Energy in order to explore how their app and the use of the telematics can be used to optimize EV charging for things like schedules and loads in order to address these challenges that are coming down the pike. Um, how do we do things like partner the excess uh, solar from our O'Fallon Solar Energy Center with an uptick of demand on the grid? And we felt that EV Energy had a great remote solution for doing so. So we also wanted to make sure we pass those solutions directly on to our customers in the form of savings, in the form of carbon offsets, and in other things that we can pass along to our Ameren customers. Uh, so we're excited to see what pilot project in order to continue to deliver benefits to the reliability of our grid, to our customers' wallets, and to continue to deliver greener, smarter, and cheaper sources of EV charging. So what we found interesting in this project was to see that the final data did show how shifting charging sessions to overnight can benefit the EV customer, the utility, and the environment by reducing uh, CO2. I hand it back to Joe to go more in detail on that. Thanks, Jordan. Um, yeah, I think in general, we saw really positive results uh, from the pilot. Uh, for those who had their charging optimized uh, to the retail rate, uh, we saw savings uh, of up to uh, $11 per month uh, for those on the time of day rate. Uh, so that's pretty significant savings on a, on a monthly basis. Uh, as Jordan said, uh, we also um, were able to get about 85% of charging aligned to the lowest carbon hours on the MISO grid, uh, and that reduced uh, CO2 emissions by an average of 112 pounds uh, per EV per month, um, which annualized over an entire year uh, is about the equivalent of a round trip flight between uh, New York and London. Um, and on the, uh, the grid intensity as well, uh, we were able to uh, curtail quite a bit of charging uh, during uh, a number of thermal constraint events that we simulated. Um, and of course, uh, I think, you know, next step there is to actually, uh, deploy this at, at a larger scale, uh, in Ameren's grid, potentially get it integrated into Ameren's germs platform, uh, and actually, um, really sort of test out, uh, then the real value that that load curtailment and load shifting can deliver from a network perspective as a non-wires, wires alternative to managing, uh, to managing grid congestion. Uh, beyond that, we um, we also saw quite a lot of engagement uh, with uh, rewards for participating in managed charging. Uh, so one thing that EV Energy is working on is actually expanding our rewards program. Uh, in our app, um, drivers earn rewards uh, for allowing the utilities to manage their charging. Uh, and we, we've done it through sort of a gamification approach where uh, drivers earn points for every eligible charging session. Uh, so we're looking to sort of expand that out um, and also uh, offer new rewards. Uh, one one um, reward in this pilot that pro proved very popular actually was carbon offsets. A lot of EV drivers understood that there was some carbon coming from the grid associated with the electricity they were consuming uh, and actually elected to um, to get carbon offsets to offset any additional electricity, uh, any additional carbon that was associated with their electricity consumption. Uh, so we're working on building that out. And then, of course, we're also interested in rolling this out um, across um, Ameren, Missouri uh, and Illinois uh, to customers to get them saving money. Uh, and of course, we're always interested in talking to other uh, IOUs and uh, munis who are interested in testing the solution in their territory. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we would love to see you at our virtual booth. Uh, and if you want to uh, sign up for uh, a 15 minute one on one, uh, please go ahead and do that. You can also check us out on our website at http.ev.energy. Uh,